everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Montana, currently studying abroad in Barcelona, but I study German and I wanted to make a few more sort of shorter videos where I just chat with you all and talk about kind of my day-to-day -day life here and just realizations and just talk. So not so formal like my other videos. Today, you've already clicked on the video so you know what it's about, but I'm gonna be talking about how many Germans there are or German speaking people in Barcelona, which has been so crazy so far because when I was kind of making my decisions, I thought that it would be really sad going to Barcelona because I wouldn't get to use my German that much. And it was just a big transition because I've studied abroad in Germany um, twice now, once in Passau and the other time in Leipzig. And it was just a big decision because I really love speaking German and that's my major. I, once I got here, I've spoken so much German and way more than I thought that I would be. I've got friends who are German and Austrian and one friend is from Switzerland. It's kind of crazy and I didn't realize that there's a good number of full-time Asade students um, who are from Germany or who are German speaking. Sometimes it's hard um, to know if someone's like Austrian or um, Swiss because like, you just hear the German. I feel like Austrian is kind of easy to pick out, but I've heard German so much. Another thing that is super crazy is that there's a lot of German just like spoken on the streets. So Barcelona is a pretty touristy city. Um, it's one of the most touristy cities I would say in Spain. It's really pretty. I understand why it's so touristy. It's a great place to visit. There's so much to do. Even just walking around the city and in the metro, you hear a lot of German. It's really cool because sometimes like, I know this is so American of me, but like, I'll just say like, hi, or like, that's so cool that you speak German. Are you studying here full time? Are you an exchange student? And so it's a good way to like make connections and meet people. One crazy thing was that today on the tram, Barcelona is pretty similar to Germany and the fact that they've got like trams, buses, metros, all the same public transportation basically, but on the tram, which not that many people use, uh, there was this grandma and she had like a little baby carriage. There's so many babies and dogs in Barcelona, but this grandma had a little baby carriage and this baby was crying so much. He was so cute. And I was like, hi. And he stopped crying. And then the grandma started speaking German to him. And I was like, oh my gosh. Um, but I noticed too late because I had to get off at that stage station so i got off at the station and when i was like saying hi to the baby he stopped crying and as soon as i left the tram he started sobbing again it was so funny but i was just shocked the thing that i did do before coming here which sadly it didn't really work out but i got in contact with the german school in barcelona i think it's kindergarten through 12 um where people in Barcelona can send their students full time and a lot of the classes are taught in german I reached out to them and was saying um my background and sort of sharing like i would really love to find a host family or or to somehow be connected with the german community in barcelona and the secretary or whoever was emailing was super nice and said okay like send us sort of like a flyer or a poster or something and we'll put it up um so i made a little poster like, searching for a host family unfortunately i didn't get any responses until it was too late um, at that point, I already like, found my roommates from UVA and we booked this nice little Airbnb, which we've had so many problems with, but it's nice at the end of the day. Um, like a month or two later, so this was, I want to say near Christmas time, so, and I had, albeit I had put this poster out so far in advance, like maybe, not October, but November at least. So december january someone emails me and was like we would love to host you our children go to the german school and we would just love to have like an extra german speaker in the house because we don't really speak that much german and the kids could really use some like extra practice and i was so sad because that would have been perfect i always talk about how much i would have loved to be an au pair but now i feel like, like there's really no more time where i could do that i said if you need any like tutoring or like free german lessons like because i would still love to speak german with the kids um then to definitely reach out but I think at that point they were just like, oh no, it's okay, don't worry about it. That was definitely a cool opportunity. I wish I had kind of stayed more in contact with the secretary or the woman I was talking to, but once I got here, I realized that the German school is kind of far away from where I live. Like, 
it would be a 50 minute commute to get there on top of that i've found that they have like a expats in germany it's a like website or some sort of group i don't think it's a facebook group but it's some sort of group and they'll do meetups sometimes and i really want to go to one of those i'm not sure if it's like weird to kind of sign up for that though because i'm not an expat nor am i re like really german um which is kind of confusing everybody always asks me like are you german like why would you study the language basically i just wanted to let you guys know that there's a lot of german speakers in barcelona and i think just europe in general like you're gonna hear so many different languages around you and i know in barcelona it's like catalan and spanish and english and german and french so many different languages so if you're like afraid of moving somewhere um, because of the language barriers then there's definitely a community that you will find and you'll make friends and make new friends because of the languages you speak and it's so cool so it's been a really great opportunity so far just wanted to sort of share that with you all because it definitely was one of my fears so thank you guys so much for watching this little update video hopefully it was interesting to hear it's fun to make and fun to like talk to you guys and share sort of parts of my day that i wouldn't share otherwise so bleib gesund bis nächste mal und tschüss